you have a loan that is higher or greater than the value of the property. Your real estate agent will go to the bank and they will say for you, they will say, we would like you to take less than the amount that you're currently owed. So the first thing you need to do if you think your loan is too high and you don't want to go into foreclosure, you will find a real estate agent who specializes in short sales. And what you will do is you will give them a letter saying, I authorize you to speak to the bank on my behalf. And that real estate agent will then contact your lender and say that, you know, we have a situation, the owner can no longer afford these payments and the market is such that we can't sell for a profit or even a break even. So we would like to ask you to take less than the loan amount that you're currently owed. And what the lender will then do is they will say, bring us an offer. And so you will put the house on the market and you will market the property. And they don't want just some low offer. They really want to know that you made a good faith effort to get the very highest price possible. Your real estate agent will do everything in their power. They'll put ads in the newspaper, they'll do open houses, they'll have it in the MLS, they'll advertise it in every way possible. When you get an offer, then your agent is going to need additional paperwork from you, such as a profit and loss, or the first page of your tax returns, or perhaps a couple of bank statements. Each lender has different requirements as far as what they're going to need to verify that you truly cannot afford to make your payments any longer. And they're going to ask that real estate agent, your real estate agent, to submit the paperwork to them along with the offer that you've received. And if you receive additional offers, that's great because it shows that you've made every effort possible to get the highest offer on the property. And so all those offers will be submitted over to the lender. Now on short sale situations, it can take quite a bit of time to get a response. Usually the lenders take about 60 to 90 days to respond. So it's a pretty long wait. And in the meantime, usually you will continue to try to market the property and continue to try to get the highest offer possible. And eventually the lender will review this information. They will assign it to a negotiator who works with their bank, who will talk to your real estate agent and relay information back and forth between the parties. And hopefully they will agree to a short sale, which lenders today are pretty flexible and pretty willing to go along with a short sale because it's in their best interest. If they go to foreclosure, they're going to end up spending more money. It's going to take more time. And if the market is on the decline, the real estate market's on the decline, they're going to end up getting a lower price for the property. So it's to their advantage to go ahead and get the property sold if they can. And so many of them will agree in the end. You should also keep in mind that there can be tax consequences on short sales. So you don't ever want to go into a short sale until after you've spoken with your tax preparer or your CPA.